We're all very familiar with mass transit, but in East Contra Costa County, they are working on micro transit, which could help California reduce its carbon footprint. Yeah, this new project is 28 miles and will connect four East Bay cities. ABC 7 News reporter Unser Hassan has the details. The road to the future is coming to Contra Costa County. Right now, uh, first and last mile is one of our biggest challenges here in Contra Costa County. And so we, want to, we, want, we don't want people have to drive to the BART station. Tim Hill is with Contra Costa Transit Authority. For the past few years, it's been working on the dynamic personal microtransit system, 28 miles that will connect Pittsburgh, Antioch, Brentwood, and Oakley with autonomous vehicles. The vehicle's small. The vehicle is only five feet wide. You know, and so that reduces a lot of the uh, infrastructure cost as well as operational cost. And the vehicle is also electric, so it's also sustainable, zero emissions. Using an app, users would show up at an access point similar to a bus stop or BART station, get in and off to your destination. The exact pickup and drop off locations are still to be determined. It takes you from, say, Pittsburgh directly to a BART station or to the downtown community center or to a university or a school like Los Madonos, Los Madonos College, all those really important points of interest to the community. Eastern Contra Costa County has a population of close to 300,000 people and growing. The county estimates that 79% commute to work in other parts of the Bay Area, most using Highway 4. One goal of this new system is to reduce traffic by using a closed circuit roadway and help California meet its zero carbon emission goals. We also want to get people off of cars. That's the most important, uh, I think, element here, which is how do we reduce our carbon footprint? It's a public-private partnership, which includes Glideways. It provides the tech and the vehicles, which are being tested at Gomentum Station in Concord. A ride that takes you 25 minutes will now take you, predictably, all the time, six to seven minutes. The cost, $450 million, but still less than the billions, for example, to expand BART. Next comes design and environmental reviews. If the timeline holds, the first glide cars would be operating within three to four years with social equity in mind. So we want to make sure that the fares are going to be consistent with the public transportation system to make sure it's equitable and accessible. In the East Bay, Ansar Hassan, ABC 7 News.